When it comes to accessing the internet, wireless internet has become the most preferred means because you don't have to worry about cords or plugs and you're not even confined to a specific location. But the downside to using a wireless connection as opposed to a corded connection is that wireless connections are a lot less secure. So in this video I'm going to show you one of the vulnerabilities involving a WEP wireless connection. I'm going to be doing this to test the vulnerability of my own wireless network, so I don't recommend using this method on anyone else's network but your own. To begin you'll need to go to the Backtrack website and download the Backtrack 4 ISO image. When it's through downloading, burn it to a DVD using a free program such as ImageBurn. After you've successfully burned it to a disk, you want to put it in a computer with a wireless card and restart the computer so that it boots to the DVD. Let it run until you get this page and type start x to start the interface. Your desktop should now look like this and you want to go down to the taskbar and click on the command console icon to launch a command terminal. And the first thing that we want to do is start up networking so type forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash networking space start. Next we want to set the wireless card into monitor mode so type in airmon-ng and find out what your wireless card is called. Then type airmon-ng space stop space the name of your wireless card. Next type airmon-ng space start space and then the name of your wireless card again to start the wireless card in monitor mode. Then type airmon-ng again to see the changes. After that we need to scan the wireless signals to get their basic service set identifiers or BSS IDs. To do this just type arrow dump dash ng space and then your wireless card name. Then see which ones have a WEP encryption and write down their channel, BSS ID and ESS ID. Then hit control C to stop. Now type arrow dump dash ng space dash w space WEP space dash c space then the channel number space dash dash BSS ID space and then the BSS ID number space and then your wireless card name and this will link your wireless card to that particular connection. Now just leave that running and open up a new console and type airplay dash ng space dash one space zero space dash a space the BSS ID number space your wireless card's name which will associate your wireless card with the connection so that you can transmit data. Then open up another new console and type airplay dash ng space three space dash b space the BSS ID number space your wireless card's name which will start sending and receiving data packets on the wireless connection. Now just bring up the first terminal console that we were using and watch the data column. You want this to run until the data amount hits at least 30,000 which will take about an hour or so. Once it has, bring up the console that is sending and receiving data and hit control C to stop it. Now type dir which will give you a view of the root directory. We're looking for a file that ends in .cap as this will have the wireless key. Once you've located the .cap file, type aircrack-ng space the name of that file and it should give you the wireless key. So now you see how easy it is to hack a WEP wireless network. My suggestion would be to use a stronger wireless encryption like WPA or WPA2. While these are not completely unhackable, at least they're harder to get into. If you want an even more secure connection, then avoid using wireless altogether. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook and Twitter, and that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.